To install your internal bearing bottom bracket, you will need a splined bottom bracket tool, waterproof grease, a torque wrench, and a large adjustable wrench. If you want to measure your bottom bracket, you're going to have to measure out the bottom bracket shell width. This will help you in buying one before you disassemble your old bottom bracket. Using a millimeter ruler, you can make this measurement. To remove your old internal bearing bottom bracket, you need to follow a couple steps. You begin by removing the drive side uh, cup. You use your bottom bracket tool and install it into the teeth. Now, once you have it lined up, you take a large adjustable wrench and you're going to attach it to the tool. On the drive side, it's reverse threaded, so you're going to have to loosen it by turning clockwise. Once it gets started, you can take it out by hand, as long as it's been greased properly beforehand. Now that we've removed the drive side, it's necessary to remove the non-drive side. Taking your tool once again and insert, properly lining it up, you're now going to be able probably to turn it by hand. To loosen it, you're just going to turn it to the left. To install your new bottom bracket, you want to grease the threads on the non-drive side as well as the threads inside the bottom bracket shell, as well making sure to clean off the surface with a rag and some citrus cleaner. Once everything's greased up, you can start to thread the cup into the bottom bracket shell. You want to turn the non-drive side in first, about three or four full rotations. Now that we have the non-drive side, we're going to install the drive side of the bottom bracket. Once again, greasing all the threads liberally inside of the bottom bracket shell, as well as the bottom bracket itself. making sure you're covering up anywhere that's going to have metal on metal contact. Now don't forget that this is reverse threaded so instead of turning to the right you're going to have to turn it to the left to tighten. Now you're going to snug it up to the face of the bottom bracket shell until you can't turn it with your hands anymore. Once you have your bottom bracket snugged up, attach the bottom bracket tool to a torque wrench. You're going to torque it to about 25 foot-pounds. After installing the drive side, you need to snug the non-drive side up until it's just tight. and you can give it one little little bit of a turn for some reassurance there. And now you're all ready to reinstall your crank set.